So yeah, so you know the Treehouse, our founder Barry Stern, he wanted this brand to be fun. You know, when you think about a hotel, you don't think of fun. So the way that the hotel was designed, some of the quirky things that we have going on around here, um, it really does bring back those memories of childhood. So we want we wanted the brand to be remind you of things of when you were a child, but it's not child it's not childlike. So when you come here, you you just think about fun and playfulness. And, you know, obviously the pandemic has changed everything for everyone. However, for us, what we wanted to ensure that uh, we do here is that although we did have to put certain procedures in place and change some things around, we didn't want to dilute the experience of the guests to the point that hospitality now feels like a visit to the hospital. So, you know, when you came in here, I'm sure you saw some things, but it's not so in your face and on the nose, but we just wanted to ensure that guests still feel welcome and feel a warm feeling and fun when they come to the hotel. Differentiation is so important now because we're in a market that has so many hotels. London is a city that depends on lots of tourists. There are no tourists now. So we have to differentiate ourselves from the hundreds, thousands of rooms that are in the market to entice Londoners and locals to come and have, have staycations here with us. So, you know, I think that fun element and our venues and our rooms and also our staff really do give us that one up on other hotels in the area. If football has given me a lot of life lessons that have transferred into my hotel career. Again, you, you mentioned it, it's a team sport, right? You know, so, and this in the hotel, although it's a much bigger team, it's a team sport. I always say, I'm just one link in the chain of what we're doing here. That if one link is broken, then it doesn't work together. So, you know, we, we need everybody on point, whether it be the front desk gauge or whether it be the sales and marketing um, manager or the kitchen porter. If if one if one thing is not working, if everything if everyone's not firing all cylinders, it will affect some aspect of the business, just like in a football team. So th there are a lot of things that have transferred over, and we and we and we have a really really great team here. There's a few things that we're doing here. Again, to come back to the actual location and the venue itself and the hotel itself, we are really a destination within a destination. If you come and visit the hotel, as soon as you walk through the doors, you're almost transported to LA or New York, or it has that kind of vibe. So, you know, that is, you can come here and stay for a couple of nights and have a few different experiences. You know, you could come here in, on, on a Friday, you could, we, give, we have these really cool picnic baskets that guests take and go to Regent's Park. The next day you could have dinner in our Mexican restaurant where we're sitting now, Madeira, and end with some drinks on the rooftop and have a lovely breakfast the next morning. You feel like you've left London, although you're still in the center of London. You know, the, the pandemic has really changed the psyche of the traveler. So whereas we would see lots of bookings further out, we've had to become quite, actually quite nimble and our booking windows is very short now. It's, you know, we were just, we were just talking with my um, revenue manager and we found that almost 75% of our bookings for July came in the month of July, which is, fascinating i've never seen anything like it in my life so right now our booking window is extremely short so we we just we we focus on 30 60 90 days out but really we're really focusing and ensuring we can capture all of the business in the next 30 days and still trying to get as much business on the books as we can for future dates Number one, I'm hoping that we don't go into another lockdown. You know, that's always in the back of my mind and I'm sure it's in the back of everybody's mind. I think as we get closer to finding that vaccine and as um, consumers start to feel safer going out and also when the businesses start to come back, in, back into London, we'll start to see a slow uptick in business. But you know, with all of the businesses still working from home, that does affect us, especially Monday through Wednesday. Thursday, because of 
what we have here. We're able to attract people that are coming for those weekend stays, but we really need those businesses to come back into London. Mm -hmm. So the Treehouse, it, you know, there's a lot going on with, with the group as a whole. We are part of SH Hotels and Resorts. We have the One Hotel, Baccarat, and the Treehouse with the baby brother to, um, or sister to, to One Hotel. We have a development team here. I believe you're meeting with Josh next week. He'll be able to go into, go into it with you further. However, we are looking at many different um, destinations in UK, Europe, and America to expand the brand.